So, the winner, the 2019 Tuk Tuk Tournament is... Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to day 13 of the Tuk Tuk Tournament, the final and last official Tuk Tuk Tournament day race. Ah, the suspense is absolutely killing me with this tournament. Um, so right now, I've actually just got Martin to run inside this big hotel here. So we're just finishing off a few challenges around Colombo. I think he just has to go to five different toilets in a fancy hotel. Um, and also, I wanted to, I want to show you something guys. So we've been working on our tournament song the past few days. And last night, I finished it. So I actually sung it and Martin played the guitar. But yeah, it's sort of like a, a blues song. So I'll play it right now. Riding in Sri Lanka, in my little red tuk. Got nothing but a map, and a little quest book. Ain't no landslide gonna bring me down, baby. Cause I got the tuk tuk blue. Gotta find those gems, baby. And eat local food. I dress like a local. And I squat when I poo. Ain't no elephant gonna bring me down, baby. Because I got the took, took blues. Driving over mountains. Plowing through mud. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Leeches can have our blood Ain't no mountain gonna bring me down, baby Because I got the Tuk Tuk Blues So, what do you think? Not a bad song, eh? <laughs> so I've, I've actually been wanting to do a song for a while because I have that on my bucket list So make a song, tick that off the bucket list uh, right, so I'll keep you guys up to date of like what's been going on and the plans for the rest of today so the past few days they seem to have cancelled the leadership board so we don't know where everyone is with the points on the leadership board like we know what place we're in i think we're coming fourth at the moment but we don't know everyone else's scores which is a little bit sneaky um, and we've just been informed the other day that someone has been disqualified from the competition so i think you may know who uh, it's it kind of sucks for them because like they were doing really well up there. I think they could have had a big chance of coming first, but yeah, now they're disqualified, that gives us a little bit more chance, but whatever it comes down to, like I do not care if we win at all because this has been the best adventure I've ever had in my whole entire life throughout my travels. Like these past two weeks have been absolutely nuts. We've gone on some freaking wild, wild adventures, stuff that I would never have done in my life. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Met some awesome locals. Um, and yeah, like that's the thing that I love about this tournament too. And with my channel, like it pushes us out of our comfort zone. Like we are truly escaping our comfort zone every single day. Um, but for today, so today is going to be a fairly easy day. Um, there's probably not going to be too many videos of doing quests because we've literally got a couple more along the road to get back to Lavinia. But we'll be meeting up with everyone at Lavinia. So everyone has to be there before 4pm. Um, and then at 7pm they will announce the winners. So we shall truly see who will be the winner of the 2019 Tuk Tuk Tournament, baby! And then after that... We shall party. We shall party to the break of dawn and we shall party hard. So, let's do it guys. Let's finish the last official Tuk Tuk tournament day. It's gonna be sad to end it, but it's gonna be fun. Righto, let's go. All right, so Martin didn't have too much luck getting into the resort toilets. Um, so he managed to get into two, but I'm gonna try to give a few other different ones a go. But I reckon I'm gonna wear my crown because people treat me like kings when I wear this thing and hopefully that will be my secret pass to get into the resort toilets. All right, I made it into one. This place is fancy. There is like so many security guards around these resorts, so it's ridiculous, but there's the restroom. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting that to walk in on the toilet. That was probably the best toilet photo experience. Um, yeah, there's, I don't know who those guys were, but they're all getting dressed up. All right, that's toilet number three for resort. Let's try number four. Look at this place, though. Look at it, so fancy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Toilet number four, baby. I'm in. Alright, so I feel like the secret to get into a lot of these fancy resorts into the toilets, you just gotta look really desperate when you need to pee. Like I'm just like squatting on the spot, like ah, oh, can I please let me inside, please let me inside. Because it's a lot harder than it seems. Like out of in front of every single resort there is so many freaking security guards. But let's see if I can get another one. Number five, baby. So the last sort of few challenges they try to get you to do is one, grease the tuk-tuk. So we just greased it up then. It's very cheap. It was like 200 rupees, took not even five minutes. And they will also give you heaps of gems for cleaning the tuk-tuk, which is a pretty smart idea to force you to clean the tuk-tuk. So we're probably gonna go to the beach first, clean her up, and then take our baby back. Farewell, Tuk Tuk. Farewell. Tight, baby! Tight squeeze. time now that is doing our laundry it has been far far too long yeah, it's gonna be just clean clothes is a backpackers dream all right so Martin and I have just arrived to our other included accommodation in the Tuk Tuk tournament so this is Hitch Pipe Hostel so we're getting our wash done and we're gonna leave the Tuk Tuk here for a little bit and then take it out later to give her a clean uh, we've already got it greased, so if you get it greased, that's like 10 gems, and then if you get it clean, that's also another 10 gems. So it's kind of good in a way, like they force people to, to clean it and maintain it. Uh, but right now, we're just going to head into town, while the leave the tuk-tuk there, and complete a few other things until about 4, because 4 is the cutoff time. So first things first, let's go get some food. Uh, for one of our last quests around Mount Lavinia is find the first tuk-tuk that arrived to Sri Lanka <laughs> and it is literally just in this little dodgy mechanics and that's it there, right there. It's just, just hidden under a pile of crap. We actually thought it was going to be on like a nice display being the first tuk-tuk in Sri Lanka but no, nah, there it is. That's it there. <laughs> We made it to the finish line just in time. So if we made it just before 4 p.m., we got an extra 10 gems. And I don't know how we did it, but because we were literally in town by 11 o'clock. We we're just having a rest, having some lunch, playing around, and then we somehow left it way too we left it way too late to wash our tuk-tuk, and then we were in a rush to wash the tuk-tuk. 
and we literally just got by the finish line like 3.59 like on the dot 4 p.m but we made it we made it mate victory Cheers, bye. We, we started the tournament hectic and we had to finish it hectic i almost ran into that wall coming in but it's done the took took tournament is finished now to see who shall be the winner. Well, luckily, uh, Tuk Tuk made it in one piece, but sadly, a wooden idol made it in several pieces. <laughs> it's just stuffed. And, and this, is, this is our side mirror as well. But in retrospect, this happened from the very beginning. Like, it, it literally just flew off the roof when we left it on. I think three other people ran over it. But it did a good job. Tuk Tuk did well. It survived. And it got us those gems, baby. It got us those gems. <laughs> Still can't believe we snapped it around. Yeah, there it is. That's our Tuk Tuk. She's a little ripper, that one. It's got nothing on these ones. Today, we welcome you to the simmering cauldron that is Central Ceylon to celebrate your victory. Woo! Lanka. We drive! I gaze upon you all with pride. Together, you and your comrades, you have truly integrated yourselves into the beauty and magic that is the pearl of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka. I am proud of each and every one of you, and I'm proud to call you true heroes of Lanka. Of Lanka, for Lanka. We drive! Of Lanka, for Lanka! We drive! Of Lanka, for Lanka! We drive! These gems, locations, and challenges are not the goal. It is the experiences you have on the way, the obstacles you overcome to reach them, and the people that you meet that are the most important, magical things that you can ever obtain. These memories, these experiences and interactions, you will keep with you for the rest of your life. You stood tall, ready to fight, for you knew you knew at the very center of your hearts and souls that this magical world was worth fighting for. For Lanka. We drive! Then I'll pass it over to Ivan. Woo! Day one. Looking fresh, feeling fresh, smelling fresh. We're definitely not smelling fresh. So much has changed since then. <laughs> So first we'll go through the artifacts and abilities, who earned what in the end. The ones that are highlighted in red are the ones that scored the top points in that pack. The tiger oh, got that one. took it easy. Okay. Woo. It's okay. Moving on. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 So, kilometer to 
ladies and gentlemen, that is officially the end of the 2019 Sri Lanka Tuk Tuk Tournament. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the wild adventures and journeys along the way as much as I have. Like looking back on these past two weeks, I don't even believe myself of the things I have done. And a big shout out to Martin, my team member, because like we both come into this as a solo backpacker. We didn't even know each other before we arrived here, but we just got along so well from the beginning and we had an awesome time. And like we have been through literally the craziest things throughout this tournament. We've we've battled through mountains, we've friggin' like flown past elephants that are gonna take us down. We've gotten bogged several times, we've gotten lost, we've been attacked by leeches, we've snapped a side mirror. Oh, there's just too many things to too many things to say that's happened to us. But I wouldn't change anything for it. Like these crazy moments in my life, these are gonna be the best memories I will have. And a huge shout out to the Tuk Tuk Rental Company for organizing this whole tournament like there has been so much thought process to go into this tournament um, and like the app that I had was so good like following where everything was on the map um, to get our gems and they even said every 250 gems collected goes towards uh, water connection for a village in need throughout Sri Lanka so they're really helping out around Sri Lanka here um, but yeah even though we come fifth guys I still feel like we're winners. <laughs> I still feel like we're winners just because the adventures we had, the, the amazing memories and the awesome people we have met. And even the first three winners, they all split the cost too. So that is so cool. Um, but yeah, what now you say? What now? Well, as you're watching this video, I will most likely be in a different country, I feel. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be going, but I could be in the Philippines. We shall see. I just extended my visa today, which is very easy. Oh, one thing too, I've got to show you this. I can't believe I almost forgot about this. So me and a couple other guys that I got along with really well, we all got matching tattoos like two days ago, like a day after the tournament. Check, check out how cool my tattoo is. Look at this. Can you see that? Can you see that? I hope saw that well. <laughs> so I got, we all got matching tuk tuk tattoos. Oh, but <laughs> this is my second tattoo now. And we're literally just walking down the street during the day. What shall we do today? And I'm like, yeah, let's get matching tattoos. I'm like, yeah, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> all right, that's enough for today though, guys. Um, yeah, and also, Thank you Tuk Tuk Rental again because they're letting me stay here for the next two weeks editing all the videos. It's just too many videos to edit. So many wild adventures. And I really hope you enjoy, enjoy all the videos that I'm gonna post up. But from now, thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I will be seeing you on the next crazy wild adventures. Yo!